Hello everyone, Helen here, and today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful and cute slimline card using the Stitches stamp set. I love the different textures that this stamp set has, and here's a closer look. It comes with 10 unique borders, and each one is unique. There's scallop lines, a stitch border, a wavy border, and so much more. I also brought in the new release Heartbeats die, and I'll be using the word die that you see there. And then I also brought in the 5 frames slimline die. This is one of my favorite slimline dies from Whimsy because you can tell a story inside each of those rectangles. Let's get into stamping. I chose seven patterns from the border stamp set and we're gonna heat emboss this with white embossing powder. I also chose a purple cardstock because this year's color is purple so I wanted to tie that into my slimline card. Now let's go ahead and heat set this and you'll notice that there is a gap between each one of my borders and that's because I did that on purpose. I'm going to come back to that and I chose a plain stitch border stamp and we're going to heat emboss with white embossing powder again and I'm going to go ahead and be liberal with that making sure each line is covered. Now don't worry about the sides because we will be die cutting this. So here I'm going to show you how I took my five frames die and I'm lining it up towards the bottom. Now notice there is big um, border gaps. That way you can get at least three rectangles from the bottom and top part of this um, images that we heat embossed. Now here are all the elements that I already die cut. I have my card base, my words that I... Um, die cut with black and white cardstock my heart and don't forget don't lose those little tiny hearts for the eyes so now I'm going to go ahead and put my adhesive on the back of my um, frame this is going to be a tone on tone look which I really love because the purple is going to pop out and the white embossed borders that we heat embossed earlier are really going to stand out so now I'm going to put some adhesive inside those rectangles. I thought about gluing them, but I thought, you know, I think it would be easier to just put some of my adhesive tape and it worked out great. You can use glue, um, but I think using tape will not be so messy. So that's why I opted for that. And again, I love insetting um, paper. It just it's just a perfect fit it's like a puzzle and it's something that I really enjoy doing now notice here that the patterns are different one is a zigzag and one is, has a cross stitch so I just alternated them but I did make a point that when I did die cut these um, images that there would be a stitch border line at the top and bottom so just pay attention when you do die cut that and here's another one of my secret weapons is I use my Xyron sticker machine to um, adhere very intricate um, dies especially word dies and I'm just going to burnish that down with my bone folder trying to make sure that each of those nooks and crannies get adhesive nothing's gonna stick out or whatever so I'm just burnishing that down now I'm going to take the black heart and I'm going to run that through my sticker machine again and notice here that the shape did change it kind of got distorted but don't you worry because once I take this off the shape will come back to its natural state um, I just had to play around with it just a little bit I think this calls for buying a new and bigger sticker machine what do you guys think <laughs> So now I'm just going to adhere this heart on the left side and then I'm going to go ahead and inset my white cardstock inside. Now our card is coming together beautifully. All we have to do is add our sentiment and just doing one final burnishing down and then I'm going to peel this off carefully. There are so much detail on this uh, word die that I don't want to rip it and so now I'm going to go ahead and place that right at the bottom and I'm using my stitch border lines there as kind of like a guide to make sure that it is straight going down across 
and then perfect. I'm happy with how that looks. And so now let's peel off our white thinking of you word dye. Again, I'm being very, very careful here. And you can also use glue to adhere this, but I just, for myself, my preference is to use this sticker machine because it just makes it so much easier. And you will find that there are remnants of the adhesive left over from there. And I'll show you how I remove that after I adhere this. I'll just take one of my um, eraser tools. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'll link it down below. And I just rub it like ever so gently. You don't really need to like erase it like you would erase a pencil. It just needs a little dab and then it comes off um, quickly. And then those hearts that we saved earlier, I, um, I'm i gonna take the black and that will go first and then the white will go on second. So then we can get that two-toned look. Now, the first time I made this card, I actually lost the hearts and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know they were hearts actually. I thought they were just plain circles. And then when I die cut it again, I was like, oh my gosh, it is so cute and adorable with the that little, little tiny heart detail. Now for the last finishing touch, I brought in some of my white polymer clay hearts. After I put these hearts on here, I immediately thought that this is starting to look like a musical sheet, but in a cute way and a good way. Um, I'm also excited to try other colors to cre recreate this card. I think a bright red would really look nice and it will stand out after you heat emboss those white borders. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give it a try. For more Whimsy Stamps inspiration, please follow us on the links down below. We would love for you to join us and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a wonderful day, bye.